as a stunned JJ processes the revelation that Felix is his father, Andrew laments his role in introducing the pair. However, Wendy won't allow him to accept any blame. She insists they did nothing but throw Felix a lifeline, yet he abused their trust and their hospitality. Andrew stews on this, they learn that Felix has been apprehended by the police in a sting involving Jules. Andrew springs out of bed, unable to rest until he confronts his brother. At the station, Felix attempts to explain his actions, but Andrew declares that Felix's cowardly actions have not just cost him a potential son, but also a brother. Andrew wants nothing more to do with him. JJ wraps up his police interview and cops heat from Dex, who unleashes his frustration and disappointment at his brother. Despite this, JJ is insistent on seeing Felix in custody, he's got unanswered questions and has the right to see his father. Off JJ's please, Remy pays a visit to Felix who promises that he won't drop JJ in it. However, Remy challenges him to do one more good thing and refuse all contact with JJ in the future. Felix concedes that JJ is better off without him, leaving JJ gutted when he learns Felix won't see him. While, following the scaffolding accident, Teresa is determined to generate positive publicity by fast-tracking the announcement of Carl as Irini Rising's resident doctor and wellness expert. Carl is chuffed when Therese proposes to plaster his image on billboards. Motivated by the imminent photoshoot, Carl amps up his health kick and Melanie decides to join him. Later, Therese arrives at the Kennedy house and is pleased to hear about Carl's progress. But when Carl invites her in to continue the conversation, Therese can't bring herself to enter, the reminder of Dodie's act of infidelity in that location is too much to bear. Elsewhere, having hit her savings goals, Holly excitedly ropes in Byron to go car shopping as Oz listens in on their conversation remotely. Soon after, Oz receives a USB containing an animation of himself as a creepy skeleton, accompanied by a hostile message. His anxiety escalates as Byron mentions he saw someone watching him over the backyard fence. Oz makes a comment on the car Holly plans to buy. Holly questions how Oz knew the detail and he awkwardly covers, realizing he must have heard it while monitoring her. Concerned by Oz's recent odd behavior, Holly checks in with him but a stressed Oz tells her to get off his case. Not long after, Holly is distressed to discover her bank account empty. Unbeknownst to her, the money has mysteriously made its way to Oz's personal bank account. 